All right, so we're going to start looking at some animation for some touch screens in this video. And so to start, we'll have a really basic, easy, one of the easiest ways to, to animate something, have some motion in a touch screen first, uh, and then we'll get a little bit more complex uh, after the video goes on. So first thing I'm going to do is write just a, a one line of logic just to have something, just to have something happen. I'm going to have a switch, turn on a fan, okay? Really, we're not looking at the logic for this one right now. We're just looking for the uh, for the animations. Okay, so now remember we do this. <clears throat> this should uh, enable us to actually run uh, a fan controlled by the PLC. Switch, turn on the fan. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to add the fan to a touch screen. So the operator can see it, and then we want to provide some animation so the operator can see it run. So as you notice, <clears throat> in the graphics folder, we find blowers. See, we have different options, but I'm going to focus on these two right here. We'll see some other examples later, but uh, notice these are the same, same fan, same blower, except the fan blades are offset just a little bit. So I'm going to take one and overlay it next to the other, overlay it on top of the other one. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a new animation for flashing. Okay, so we're going to go to Appearance, Animations, have a new one. And we're going to look for when this bit is from a 1 to a 1. So when the fan is on, the fan is true, we're going to make this flashing. So we're going to change that. We're going to set it to fan or whatever we're trying to animate. Ranges from 1 to 1. And we're going to set it to flashing. And once we complete that, download these changes <clears throat> to our touch screen. Now, our fan is rotating because one picture <clears throat> is flashing while the other one is staying static behind it. So it's, it gives it the appearance of rotation because the one on top is flashing and going away while the one on bottom is just staying there all the time. So it gives it a slight appearance of rotating. Okay. We can do this a little bit better if we want, if we really want that fan to spin. Uh, we just change how often it, it flashes. Okay, so a little bit more in depth. We got to get in some programming here. And we got to do uh, a little bit of something with some timers. So, what we want to do here is we want to have a timer. And so we have a, a timer set up. I'm going to give its um, preset time value 200 milliseconds. Let's make this go as fast as fast as what we can. Okay, 200 milliseconds, and then it's going to be. As long as time, as long as the fan is on, this timer is going to keep repeating itself every 200, uh, every 200 milliseconds. Okay, that's the first step. And the second step is we need to be able to compare. Okay, we'll use greater than or equal to. Look at the timer output, how much time it has. 
and we're going to go anything greater than 100 milliseconds. We're going to have another bit. Okay, memory board. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna have another bit flashing fan. This is gonna be on and off every 100, uh, every 100 millisecond. Then we wanna download this, make sure we download this changes to the PLC, and we'll add it into our graphics. So now if we watch this, we'll notice our timer's timing and we're flashing. That'll come on every 100 milliseconds. Okay, so that's gonna be faster, a faster rate. Every 100 milliseconds will be a faster rate than, uh, than what we were before. So <clears throat> we just need to make these changes now to our HMI. So again, I have my fans, two of them here, overlay one on top of the other, just like we did before, okay. We're going to only make this visible. So we're changing it instead of having a uh, flashing animation. We're going to only make this visible when the fan goes, the bit goes from one to one. Okay. The other thing that we need to do is when we make this as a default tag table, this is flashing fan now instead of fan. Okay. A new bit we put in the PLC. We also need to go in the HMI tags and default tag table. We need to make sure that our setup for acquisition cycle is 100 milliseconds because it defaults to a one second. And if we leave it at one second, it won't work the way we want it to. Okay, it won't update uh, refresh as fast. So we need to be able to update that acquisition cycle, get it down to 100 milliseconds, and then it's gonna be able to appear faster. And the faster we can get that to flash and appear, the more it looks like it's the more animated it is actually spinning. Okay. Now, since that's flashing every 100 milliseconds, it looks a lot more like a fan's actually spinning. It's got some more animation uh, to it. So quick and easy way to just make it flashing. Uh, other way to make it quicker is to make it visible when a bit that's flashing every 100 milliseconds is true.